Yum yum. Hello, this is Yazan Malkosh with Pixel Fondue, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a popover controller for uh, locators that control different items in your scene or channels in your scene. All right. So first thing we do is we add actual locator. So click on Add Locator. I'm going to change the shape because I like to do that. Uh, typically, I will choose circle. Probably not a 500 uh, milliliter radius, but this is fine for now. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see it. Um, I've got multiple things here. I'm going to add a few channels to this. Um, so let's say I'm going to say um, light move up. Oops, that was too hasty. Uh, light move up. We're going to set this to distance, but give it a zero value, zero to one. Great. And I'm going to also grab one and call it um, light rotate. I'm going to give that an angle value, and we're going to give it to zero to uh, 360. Great again. Um, I think that's enough for now. And what we're going to do is do do do. Add those two channels here. So these will control the two different things for the light. Um, in this case, I want it to control Y and Y rotation, y, y position, Y rotation. So move up would control position, rotate would control rotation. So if I click on this, nothing happens, obviously. Um, I'm going to add a command to the assembly. That means every time I click on that locator, I, this command gets fired. And in this case, uh, command will be item dot channel pop over. And what this will do is every time I click it, it gives me this popover form, uh, which means I can now translate or rotate my light. And obviously, you can do much more complex things if you have things linked up. But that is a um, method to clicking on a locator and getting a popover form with uh, custom channels that you can control. Thanks.